All right, Patrick, let's check a little, check out uh, some of your first run, Stratton GS. I put you up here against the uh, winner, uh, just for a little maybe comparison. Hopefully the visual will help you understand some of the things we've been talking about. Um, one of our things we have been discussing with you a lot is, is um, you know, kind of a, a big pole plant really raising the hand up and, and pointing the pole really down the hill to pole plant and then pole planting and dropping it to our side. And um, what happens there is it makes you uh, kind of lean in and not really level. So you come through, you can see your pole plant, you raise the hand up quite a bit, pole plant, and the hand immediately goes down and back. So what happens there is uh, you kind of fall to the inside a bit. We'll see that in a moment. Now, you know, his pole plan is very subtle, particularly in GS. Um, a lot of times it's a pole swing, it's a tap. Uh, it's not a big motion. It comes through, little tap there. And not much at all. Yours is going to be a very big, deliberate. There's your pole, which is you know, extended out that way. All right, we don't want that. And you drop it, and the hand goes back right to there. And the hand falls to the inside. And we tend to, you know, kind of lean in a bit. You can see yourself leaning. We're not really level. Um, you get weight on the inside ski. You also see the big spray. I mean, look at this, the amount of spray there. So, you know, besides the pole plant, obviously we need to carve the top of the turn a little bit more. You've got to have confidence. You're a good little skier. You have to confidence in your, yourself, your equipment, to uh, roll them up and carve that top of the turn. You watch him come through. And uh, not not much spray, right? Because he's, he's got a clean arc through. And uh, spray is slow. Spray means that we are skidding our turns. So you come through here. Again, the pole, it's flicked backwards after you pole plant and the hand drops and we lean in and we got a lot of spray going on let's see if he's got spray not nearly as much So we, we talked about tucking in this section, and you know, he's doing it because he's pretty good. We talked about waiting a few more gates until really the flat because, um, you know, tucking can be overrated. We cannot sacrifice the turn for the tuck because if, it, if we, uh, you know, sacrifice a turn, everything that's made up in aerodynamics is Lost and then some, then some in uh, skidding and skis. You can see the spray going on there. You're skidding that whole turn. I don't see any spray there. A little bit there, but he got out because he knew that that was actually pretty tough. He couldn't do it because he didn't want to sacrifice his turn. You kept in it and big spray, so just skidding all the way down here. Most of his kids got in and out. Now he got back in, and yours is better here. This is where we wanted to tuck, on this flatter section where it got easier. But even though we, we say it's easier here, we still see this really rotation of you, upper body leading, leading this turn, and therefore the hip goes out. Once you rotate the upper body and lead that way, you know, rotating this way with the upper body, what happens? The hip goes this way and the skis flatten out and we skid. 
So tucking is uh, it's, it's not easy. Kind of overrated. Uh, again, leaning in here and skidding this top of the turn. As you can see by the spray, him, you can see him, the angles he puts together, you know, you can see him, he's got some upper lower body separation as opposed to you. So there's no spray and he's got a nice feet off underneath them at a high edge angle platform to push against and it makes a clean turn with no spray. So there's some big spray there again. It's really skidding that turn. He got out because it was tough. It wasn't easy to tuck this whole thing. And he was not going to sacrifice a turn for a tuck. All right, so in any event, let's, let's, let's tone down that pole plant. We don't have to be pointing it down the hill um, and, and then flicking it back and dropping our hand. That's the start of the, you know, kind of leaning in. we got to get better angles that way. That'll help us get more level. Um, we want to get, you know, a little more confidence in ourselves and our, our skis to be able to carve that top of the turn. You can do it. Lay them up. Roll them up, stand on that outside ski. Right now, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit too much inside. Uh, you know, you're on your inside ski too much. So, let's roll them up, stand the outside ski, work on that up and over uh, drill. You should be doing that to and from a race course and masking it in the race course, and that will help you out a lot.